Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Mega Man 3. That was a quick selection. We're going to be playing Sparkman level. And also, this is one of your personal favorite music tracks. Because I've heard, oh, I've heard this so many times here, I was going to Sparkman. But... Yeah, Sparkman was different. However, I can't get the image of Wazul and Fred dancing to the Sparkman. <laughs> oh, yes. It's the most, one of the most random videos, because it made true as it is bleed. Oh, yeah. I, no, wait, wait, it was a fatality! Oh, yeah, I remember that one. It was good. Well, the Spartan music's great. Yeah, it's still one of the best music in the game. The trippiest stage ever. You're in, a, you're in a power plant, and you have upbeat music. Also, what you're supposed to do to, um, Hammer Show is to use this hard knuckle on him, which kills him instantly. Which is a power weapon. Although if you're, if, although if you are a closet uh, fan that pretty much believes in pretty much sites that are wrong in general, <sighs> hard knuckle is a shit weapon. They are lying. The more you know, ladies and gentlemen. The more you know. Do -do -do. I can't do that noise for the freaking more you know logo. Uh, I suck. Well, you heard it here. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, did you notice Spark Shadow Blade is a very cool purple and pinkish color? No, it's more like a, a pretty purple. Purple magenta. Magenta. Yeah, it's like flowers. I think so. And now we get the best falling sequence in the game. In the game. Wee! Wee! He has his arms in the air because he doesn't care. Because he's an airplane. Fly through that, this is actually kind of easy. No, really it is. Now some say the next bit here is actually one of the more difficult bits in the game. Yeah, I always struggle. If you time your jumps, this is easy. I see people use the shadow button. Uh, they do too, except I actually don't, because I know how to press buttons for jump. Right, we need to equip our new weapon, the Shadow Blade, because this one... Oh, by the way, this is a popular one. What killed the Sparkman? The Shadow Blade! That sucks. My silence is everything. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, you see, he's dead. Who cares? We got a good weapon out of it. That was shocking. I hate you. I hate you! Mine was good! And that! That! Oh! Oh, you prick! <laughs> yep, that's me! Yep, rather DC prick. Oh, no, you sure, show me. I'm gonna walk on with you, you know. Silence E! Silence EWO! They don't exist anymore. They wish they did. Anyway, moving on! Next boss is, of course, the most. Moving on! The most well known boss of the series! It's the furry lever. No, Daily. it's Snake Man! The first animal feed of the entire series. Because I'm pretty sure animal feed bosses are, are all the rage. I mean, <coughs> Sheep Man. <coughs> Sheep Man, uh, I guess you could count Shade Man as a bat. Yeah, um, uh, I'm not sure. Centaur Man. Centaur Man sucks. By the way, we're actually going to be- I've actually- um, this, If you notice, I've decided to equip the uh, Shadow Blade before he does, because to be honest, it's kind of like a Metal Blade. It's very powerful. It kills most enemies in one hit. But it can't go in all directions, right? It can't- They actually fix that. It only goes in- It only goes up and up left and up right. Anyway, this boss here, you can, you can kill it in one hit with the Hard Knuckle. You can hit it with three Shadow Blades it dies. It is, it's still, it's the strongest weapon this game has to offer. Actually, no, I'm wrong. This is not the strongest weapon. The strongest weapon is coming up later because this weapon is godly. And you'll see later on because this guy's weapon will kill the next boss afterwards. Uh, see, for instance, we just need these enemies fall. Uh, do like that. So... Some of these, like, stage enemies are just so fucking retarded. Yeah, that's kind of retarded. Also, you can use the Shadow Blade and... Exploitable! Exploitable glitching! Not really. 
I never understood like how weapons can go through like solid block. I don't know that that's of course the platform's made out of snake leather. Or it's just very thin. You know what you know Gotta love the old NES days. Yeah, because logic <laughs> apparently applies. Or you can just basically consider the Wily the cheap bastard. Wily was getting high and you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not the violin. It's not the violin. It was fucking a fat one who came up with the idea for Snake Man. Must have been. Must have explained the reason why he fucking thought Sheep Man was a like, good fucking yeah, that idea. Was, that was a drinking bit. Uh, yeah, but okay. I'm gonna create a robot master out of computers and dams. Computers and data. Let's name him Sheep Man, shall we? Why the fuck not? I mean, although to be fair, genius. Half of them he doesn't build, he just nicks them from somewhere else. I think he started nicking them from six. Seven! So I know, like, in Mega Man 7, most of them are not his. So. Which he's kind of sold eight. He, didn't, he only sold most of them. You know what I find baffling about Mega Man 8? Yeah? Frostman was built from the spare parts of Cloud Man. At Brisket, you imply. He kind of applies the freaking. That's what what, what Cloudman was going to be failed, so he just basically said, Eh, fuck it, I'm not gonna build any more like, anymore, anymore. Like I'm gonna build him stupid huge. And he's the fucking general! Yeah. The general of the that game is Frostman! He's stupid! He should have oh, been Swordman! They should have gotten Swordman! He was the badass of the lot! Yeah, he's got a pretty good designer. And also, his weapon's gonna be in, um, Mega yeah, his weapon's gonna be... I'm calling it Smash Bros. 4 because the name they've given it was just... Yeah, they, like it, there's two different versions of Smash Bros. They can't, they couldn't really call it Smash Bros. 4 because there's technically two versions of it. The one, guess, the yeah, one for the handheld and one... They're gonna call it Smash Super Smash Bros. All-Stars Battle Royale, or just a part of Super Mario. Should we say... No, no, we don't wanna go the... <laughs> we don't wanna go the Sony route. Although I hear the next PlayStation also called PlayStation All Stars Melee. <laughs> you know the third time. What ho! A villain! What ho! A snake man! Oh, they better make a sequel to that crack bandicoot. Yeah, I know. He's the only one conspicuously missing from that pile. Man, Alongside Spyro. Spyro. But then people be like, oh, Spyro is not really Spyro is really not Spyro anymore. Yeah, you just. I don't know. I don't know what's made a joke. Well, if there's an Xbox, it's like Smash Bros. That joke's kind of old. Bad, yeah. Or they could just have uh, a killer instinct. Mega Man 3, we're talking about Master Chief. Yeah, killer instinct. Oh, that was terrible. Hey, I happen to like killer instinct. I mean, a lot of people do love killer instinct. It was actually the, yeah, it was it's the a third game. game where you can guarantee to pay for the rest. No, that's, I meant. That, that's good marketing. The two games prior. Oh, those ones. Yeah, they're, the, okay. they're the badass of gaming. They're the ones that introduced the multiple hit combos of the ultra, ultra, ultra. Breaker. And the combo breaker! Mega Man 3, we talk about Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is a fun game, which people should at least play the Super Nintendo version. The weapon you get is Search Snake, which is actually a very useful weapon in terms of a first a ground terrain weapon. And in the next part, folks, we have a, we have a smoking git at the top bottom left to kill. Later, see.